Mother of perpetual help, we come to you in need again of your perpetual help. You are our guide and model ever since long ago you said yes to the Lord's messenger and changed history with the birth of your son. You said yes to God and his ways and taught us that yes is always the answer. In yes, you were given the faith and strength to experience God's love, to endure much pain and suffering, to be a source of joy and comfort to everyone around you. Today, as every day, we come to you in prayer, asking you to help us remember that yes is always the answer, that even with our problems and worries, sometimes small, sometimes so large they seem unbearable, we can find the solutions and help we really need. We promise to love you and your son, to never stop learning what he came to teach us, and in his name, to love our neighbors as ourselves, and to above all, love God. Amen. The meaning of the name Gabriel is God is my strength. The Archangel Gabriel is the angel who appears to Mary, announcing the incarnation of Jesus. Several times in the Bible, Gabriel appears as a messenger, communicating with Daniel in the Old Testament, and to Zechariah, the father of John the Baptist, and to Mary in the New Testament. Gabriel is the patron of communication. On a regular basis, I ask for St. Gabriel's intercession, especially when I am writing, preparing to teach, or to facilitate a retreat. In the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, Gabriel is holding a cross with three horizontal cross beams, typical in Byzantine art and iconography, and four nails at its foot. The middle bar shows where Christ's hands were nailed. Gabriel is present, offering strength, but he holds the signs of the pain to come. His presence in the scene shows us that God does not call us to a demanding mission without offering grace and the assistance of others. As we celebrate Mary on the Feast of the Annunciation, we are reminded she is full of grace, meaning full of God's free, unmerited gift of supernatural strengthening. She knows she's not alone because St. Gabriel tells her the Lord is with her. The message, the Lord is with you, signals the recipient has been called to a mighty mission. Mary will contribute to a new chapter in our human understanding of God, a new approach to the problem of sin. Symbolized by the fall of Adam and Eve, their egotistical choices, their subsequent banishment from life in paradise with God. The road back to God will be the discovery of God's love for all of his creation, including us, and that this love is to be reciprocal. Love thy neighbor as thyself, and above all, love God. Mary's son Jesus will be the one to teach us by his words and by his example. The story of Adam and Eve is the story of a man, a woman, and a tree. The Jesus story also has these three key elements, a man, Jesus, a woman, Mary, and the wood of the tree, the cross. Adam and Eve thought they could find fulfillment outside of God's love, influenced by voices of the ego, tempting them to be impatient, disobedient, and impetuous. Mary hears the voice of an angel, encouraging her to be open and trusting in God's plan. Mary shows how God rewards humility and openness to his plans. 
Gabriel comes to announce the mission, the coming of the Messiah, and as in the icon, seems to foreshadow his suffering and death on the cross. The symbol of the cross is not limited to suffering. It is a reminder that Jesus showed us the way out of sin and a new way to understand the suffering and death that comes to us all. He allowed some of his followers to witness his resurrection and in doing so, demonstrated his spiritual authority to lead us back to God and the garden of paradise, the heavenly Jerusalem. God vindicates and redeems pain and suffering. Victory is possible when we surrender our hurts and injustices to God's mercy. St. Paul reminds us that the same power that brought about the resurrection will make us a new creation. As we make our way back to the Garden of Eden, back to the ways and rules of love, we understand that this return to the heavenly garden is a return to a state of original harmony with God. And we look to Gabriel's role in presenting to Mary God's request of her. Jesus was comforted by angels during his 40 days in the desert, during his temptations from Satan, before his arrest and crucifixion, during his agony in the garden, Mary and the Son of God were often visited by angels, offering strength and accompaniment during times of great suffering and anxiety. If we listen for them, we too live in the presence of angelic beings and saints, benefiting from their prayers and intercessory power we may not see our guardian angels, but we know they are present praying for us. Dr. Alice Miller, a Swiss psychologist, believed that all people need accompanying witnesses, people who mirror integration and spiritual, emotional health. As Catholics, we live this through our membership in the communion of saints. This means we are connected and assisted by friends on earth, souls in purgatory, and saints in heaven. We are Christ's body, extending beyond our understanding of space and time, journeying toward wholeness and fulfillment. Let us pray to better understand this mystery. Let us ask God to show you that you are not alone how your family of love and support is larger than you think. Allow us to see and feel the presence of God's heavenly messengers. Give us the humility and trust to keep our eyes open, to notice how God is acting in our lives. Dear God of vast and immeasurable love, you gave us your son to teach us your ways, and you gave us his mother Mary to lead us and guide us in this new knowledge. Through this beautiful icon of our mother of perpetual help, we are assured of her watchful gaze, her embrace of her son, and through him, all of us. We thank you for this protection, and we promise to accept this love, to live this love, and to show it to everyone through our words and deeds all the days of our lives. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, in gratitude to you, 
we stand before you thanking you through your intercession with Jesus, your Son, for all the beauty and love and abundance that has come into our lives. We ask you now to listen to our needs, our worries, our regrets, and grant us guidance to see our way through, just as you did so long ago when you said yes to God, when you welcomed your son Jesus into your arms and into your heart. Amen.